Yes, welcome to the local music show with uh, John Sinclair and uh, Kevin Gaunt, another packed programme uh, between now and seven, and two artists to feature, and Kevin's, uh, well, he went off uh, to a little public house to interview the first band, Kevin, didn't he? I did, yes, and there's a reason for that, John. And the reason is? It was their headquarters. Oh, their HQ, yes. yeah. Before we talk about that, let's mention who's coming in at 6.30 uh, live on the programme. Yep, just after the dead shoot at 6.30, as you've just said, we've got a, um, a local-ish uh, musician by the name of Kenneth J. Nash. Um, and he, he plays, he writes, he's a singer-songwriter. And he's been around a little bit. I'm just looking at his bio. His bio. Uh, been singing, done most things uh, as a songwriter and a, a performer, and been a DJ as well. So he's uh, certainly done the circuit, hasn't he? Yeah, that would explain, then I guess, why the lyrics to his songs are really quite um, inspirational sometimes. And as I said earlier, I think you you can relate to them, um, although they're they're a touch on the mysterious and and dark side as well. What you call grown up lyrics? Is, is it? Oh, I don't oh, know, really. Oh, oh, I mean, you... youngsters have quite a lot to say as well, so <laughs> we're probably on dangerous territory there. Uh, we'll ask him to describe it when he comes in. Yes, I'm looking forward to chatting to him, actually. It'll be great, so that'll be good. So, yeah, but first of all, we've got uh, The Dead Shoot, which are a really good local um, bluesy band with touches of rock and touches of um, punk inspiration. We'll be chatting to them at their HQ. Uh, I'll, be spe- I'll be speaking to Craig, Tom and James from the band. Um, but first of all, before the interview, we'll be listening to one of their songs called Zooey, spelt as Z-double-Z-double-O-E-Y.
Kevin here with uh, with the dead shoot in the dog and gun in Enderby. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, 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 hello. 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 Now, <coughs> what are we doing in the uh, in the dog and gun? Then is this is this your favourite pub or? Uh, this is um, this is our HQ. This is yeah. where we practice. Um, we practice up there. Oops. Oh, it's up there. We take right. you up there, but it is a violation of several health codes. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, and this is also um, Jimbo's... What are you trying to say about where <laughs> no, I live? No, 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 no. The, yeah. you know, the pub's lovely. This is Jimbo's dad's pub, which is, which you know, definitely takes all the boxes right. of uh, health codes. It's fine. <laughs> oh, so this, this is basically the Dead Shoot HQ, then? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, In a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So, right. So, the Dead Shoot. Now, you play bluesy, rocky kind of music. Is that right? I've seen you a few times as well. Yes, we yeah. yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and what I remember about your gigs is, apart from the music, absolutely great stuff. Guitarist, bit sort of Jimi Hendrix-ish, nice and, <laughs> nice and bluesy. Um, but you're a good band to watch, though, as well, because, like, you're obviously quite active on the lead vocals. Yeah. Do you, do you, I presume, do, do you try and mimic anybody, or is that just... Well, I, I think initially... I'd, I'd thought, Aretha Franklin? Aretha Franklin. <laughs> yeah. Really? No, well, I don't think I've got... I, no, I, unfortunately, no. I, I, I don't know, not really. I sort of just look... It, it's sort of a cross between Robert Plant and... Jagger. The Jagger. Plus, yeah. Yeah, it depends like, really what time of night we're playing, whether or not I break out the Jagger. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. but, that, but that makes it good to watch, and you're quite good on the old guitar as well. I'd give See? it a bash or <laughs> Yeah, you know, fairly confident lead guitarist. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. And competent as well. And then, and then, <laughs> yeah, and, well, <laughs> fairly, fairly, <laughs> yeah. Fairly and then, of course, there's you coming up the rear on the bass, yeah. looking very cool and... Um, always dapper. Always yes. Dapper. I always do look dapper. I must yeah. say, you, you just sort of stand there, don't you? you do look, but you uh, do, someone has to. <laughs> yeah. He's always turning his back on the crowd, like, <laughs> bending over his amp, like, tuning up. Yeah. Craig's, like, clapping his amp. I don't have to move because I look so good. That's cool. Yeah. So we've just played Zoe. Zoe is that by the way? It's Zoe. Zoe. It's just an odd spelling. Uh, Spelled Z double O E Y. That's right, yeah. It's a very um, special way of spelling Zoe. Right. I don't want to go into too much detail because there's probably be a lawsuit. Oh, okay. So could you tell us about the song then? Or? No, no, absolutely not. Oh, right. it's, um, it's, just, it's just about. Um, being with someone that you that you crave, I think that's what it's about initially. And, oh, right. um, at the time I wrote, it, I was single. Uh, <coughs> so but you were wishing you were with someone. Yeah, you, I was, that you wishing, I was yeah. wishing I was with um, this this person called Zoe, as many a man have, because she is she is quite the lady. Mm. Zoe who? Zoe Dachanel. I oh. just admitted it. Yes, off the telly. Off, it is, she's off the telly and movies. And she's a she's a singer songwriter as well. And if she's list, she might be listening to this. So if she is, if she is, <laughs> if she is, I'm, unfortunately, I'm off, the, I'm off the market now. Oh. So uh, I, 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 I can't, unfortunately. There you go. So <laughs> how, how long have you guys been around now then? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, you've been together for me and me and Tom have been playing together for about well nearly two and a half years now. Um, so we got together actually the first time we played here was, in, was here. in this room right um, when we got pushed up on stage and did a couple of blues covers and it was right it was here when we did it standing right, we yeah. were standing right right where we are now um, and then we sort of just took it on from there got a bit encouraged got a bit of feedback on it and sort of started writing our own stuff and then uh, what, what blues covers did you do we did uh, Robert Johnson Rambling yeah which right. this is a it's a classic. We only played that because it's the, very simple on the guitar and the lyrics sort of just go round and round. I think we made it go round about that's, ten times. Yeah, I think it about <laughs> it's about version, it's about a ten minute long version. Um, and then we did um, that Bill Withers song. Which Bill song Withers. was it? Uh, Ain't no sunshine. Ain't no sunshine as well. We did that. It's not really classic. Yeah. It's not. No, it's not classic. But well, it's not really. Well, blues. not blues, but, but it's, 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 it's a great. Song. We played it in yeah. a bluesy way. And funnily enough, the, that, the time we played it then was the only time we played it right. Because yeah, we, yeah. Um, it was the day of our first practice. It was the day of our first practice. So we did that and we thought, yeah, actually, I think we're, we're all right. And so we just kicked on from there and got Jimbo involved. That's when we got really good. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, because yeah. at that point, we just could not hold together time at all. It was but just madness. They, we used to get my old band, That's when that's it was just them two, they used to support us. Yeah. Right. So we would get them, and then I was like, well, okay, and then, sing, so. Oh. Yeah. 
Love oh, that no, man, John this man. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah. And then we just sort of kicked on from there, really. I mean, we've all been friends from, with through school, and we've known each other for years and years and years and stuff, so... And you're all into blues, blues music, I take it. I am. So, I, so I think, like, dribs and drabs of it, like... But not necessarily... It just seemed to be what we were better at. I right. think, and all like how we, yeah. we all can play blues, you know. And I, I like my like older stuff, like Robert Johnson, like old school, like, and I like fifties, which yeah. is like a lot of that stuff is similar, mm. like you know, like rockabilly and all that stuff. So, and I think what we do, we sort of we've got. I mean, we sort of typify just as blues as the genre we play, but we do put our own bits in it. I mean, why like, I'm. I love my Led Zeppelin and stuff like that. Again, they're yeah. originating origina- the blues, the but that, that's where the right comes with it. Tom, you, like the, the, your, your you know, guitar taste varies. Yeah, you know, there's like stuff like, I don't know, stuff from like the, maybe like the punk side of things. Oh, only, right. only like, it's like stuff like The Clash or... Yeah. Um, Smith. Smith. Well, yeah, Smith and stuff like that. So, and then, so is that is there some of that in the dead shoot music then? Do you think? I think a little bit. No, I, I think, think mainly with the music, like, particularly the guitar bits, right? Like in, in Zoe, I think yeah. it's quite um, prevalent. I suppose, yeah, well, uh, I mean, I think the music that I mean, particularly you know, obviously, I don't, I play guitar on one song, but these two players are a lot more intricate than what normally sort of your old school blues going going back. It's a lot more intricate than the sort of the genre would be particularly with some of the stuff that they, they come out with. Um, it's not just 12 bar blues. No, it's not. I mean, we, we did try that originally. That's where we were stuck at. And then we thought, well, no, we'll take it and we'll build on it. And that's where we are now. Hmm. Sort of bringing it forward. But I I say, it's not complicated at all, really. It's all no. like in one key. Yeah. That's how we write songs. I'll just write what keys it in. It's like, bam. You know, yeah. We yeah. write songs so and we play them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's where the distinctive dead shoot sound comes from then. Like you say, a bit rocky, a bit punky. But mostly bluesy, then. Yeah. 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 It's got its roots in blues, I think that's... that's yeah, we're all about, like, creeds, it's like, you've got to keep the song as simple as possible. That's what you always yeah. said to me when I joined. Yeah. It's like, it's just going to be purposely sing- simple songs. It's going to be yeah. no, like, stupid key changes where you're going, oh, like, you know, like try to write operas and that. Yeah. It's always yeah. going to be... So it's like, this is in D, this is what... And it's like, all right, so I'll play this. Mm. Kind of thing, like... Yeah. Well, I must admit, from a, from a listener's point of view, it certainly sounds very good. Thank I mean, you. you're, you're, you're pretty much verging on, on the edge of my technical expertise there when you talk about keys and stuff. Oh, <laughs> just same about, here as far as yeah, Jim no is the only one who knows. Yeah, like, keys, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what about, what about your drama? And more of the dead shoot to come after Denim Blues.
about your drama? There's three of you here tonight, aren't you? Have you got a drama? Uh, n- no, uh, not as such. Um, we've we've basically been loaning drummers for the past. How many yeah. months? Yeah, well, yes. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, our, our old drummer left, um, and, but we wanted to carry on. Uh, we were getting offered gigs, and we couldn't really turn them down. So it sort of came into the case of just loaning drummers in. Um, both two in particular, both very very good. Um, but unfortunately, they've got other commitments that they have to pursue. So at the moment, we're drummerless, <coughs> which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, isn't it? So how do you go about getting a new drummer? Well, I don't know. If you've got an answer, that would be great. <laughs> because we've got... Uh, we. D- if there's any drummers out there listening, yeah, please get in touch. Please let get in touch. Um, it's, 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 it's hard because I think if you're for any potential band member, you've got, they've got to fit in. They've got to be able to play play the drums first and foremost it sounds daft but they do mm. Um, mm. they've got to be able to hit the ground running and they've got to get on with us as well so that's why it's taken two, over two years because you can't find anybody to get on with you pretty much we are very we are very awkward <laughs> I well, am especially. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. I think it's because uh, like we went to school we've known each other for a long time haven't we yeah. I mean, I've known you in bands with me when you were like 13 so yeah. that's like over 10 years I know you since from year we, seven. Well, we used to be, we used to have maths together. Mm. Well, it? Yeah, yeah. So, right, change the subject slightly. Back on to gigs and stuff. Which where which gig would you say is your best gig that you've done to date so far? Oh, you mainly gig in Leicester, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, oh, oh, I don't know. There's been there's been like there's been like just ones that have been Food amazing. Yeah, yeah, like we actually, played, we? yeah, when we, pl- we, um, F- food bar, one of the bars on Narborough Road, it was, it was closing night, um, and we got, we were playing, um, is it closing the, down then? It's it closed, it's closed, no, that was the close, that was the last night, um, and it was absolutely rammed, packed to the rafters, and, and we it played there, it would, we, yeah, it went absolutely berserk, mm. it was just brilliant, and it was just such a good way to send off the bar it, it it done a lot for us in terms of p- p- letting us play there and we knew the staff yeah um, and it was really good it was brilliant absolutely fantastic uh, I think that was probably maybe not in terms of attendance but I mean it was run for food bar but I mean if you've not been there it's, uh, yeah, it was a right, funnel room terrible, but, yeah. but it, it um, you got to walk through the band it, to get to the yeah toilet. it was yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It <laughs> people was, were getting involved yeah, in people, yeah, yeah. yeah people were but it was just it was just <laughs> brilliant it was absolutely fantastic oh, and it was it was Bit of a shame, though. Your best gig is in a venue that no longer exists. Yeah, yeah. it is a bit of a problem. Um, yeah. But, you know, we've, we've been playing... Well, I've understand that, because all our gigs tend to be all right, you know? Like, yeah. There's not been any gigs where I've been like, oh, man, this... I mean, like, when we played at... Um, where did we play? We played on Saturday. Exchange, not Exchange, oh, before that. So we were Cook It. The Crumbling Cook It. That was cook good. It. That was yeah. a good gig as yeah, well. That was, yeah, because you... That's sorry, then, yeah, you were there. That was a gig. That went for us, so that was for... That was like yeah, linear. Linear, yeah, yeah, that yeah. was it, yeah. And of course, you've got the Soundhouse gig as well, haven't you? Uh, yeah, we've got that coming up on the 31st of October. Um, also is, that, is that a Saturday? No, it's Friday. Friday, Friday night, yeah, Halloween. Um, so stop on by Mid Trickle Treat Route if you want. Um, yeah, it's a great lineup. It's all blues. Uh, bluesy night. We've got, we're headlining. Um, we've got Goldwater. Uh, the Bobcats and the Dirty G's. Oh, they're some good names as well, aren't they? Yeah. Dirty G's, classic band. Yeah, they are. They are. I, I, I amazing guitarists. They are, they are, they are, they are really so good. All of them got amazing guitarists. Yeah, yeah, they're all good bands. That's, that's what we wanted. We wanted to put a night on where there's no weak link and there's, there's absolutely not. I mean, I'm sure mm. they're, all, they're all headline acts in their own right. Mm. Um, uh, and we've all picked them. Uh, that's what we wanted to play, and, and there they are. Brilliant! That's going to be a great night. That is. How much is it to get in? It's it's four. It's five pound on the door. Um, but if you would like a ticket, you can message us, and we will get you a ticket. And it's that will be four quid. pound, mm. four English pound. Which for what? To be fair, I mean, for what you're getting, it's that's. I think that's. Good. I'm obviously I'm going to say that because we're playing. Yeah. But no, I I, I think it is because it, it, the four good bands. It's, it's, a, it's a you know it's effectively a quid a band. Um, yeah, and it's a great atmosphere great in there, atmosphere. And, and the sound's fantastic. Yeah. I love that place. Yeah, no, yeah, so they've got all the right equipment there, and, yeah. and we uh, we've had some great nights there. And I hope this will probably. Well, I think. Nice try, Ice Machine as well. 
Yeah. Yeah, 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 that'll, yeah, that'll be yeah, good yeah, as well, yeah, won't it, in Halloween? Yeah, that chokes me. It's great. Yeah. fancy dress or anything Oh, like yeah, that. no, fancy dress is actively encouraged. But uh, not compulsory. Not compulsory, absolutely not. If you don't want to, then that, that's absolutely fine. It's your, it's your call. Will um, you be wearing fancy dress as a band? Um, we've, we've, di- we've we're, we're discussing it. Yeah. We're, we're not, insu- we're not there sure. There will be fancy dress, but we don't <laughs> know. As a collective, if, if yeah. I've got work, then no. But if <laughs> yeah. I've got yeah. work, then it's it's uh, you know almost certainly. No, almost certainly yes. You could just wrap yourself up in loo roll or something, couldn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. we sing bands. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that would sort of be a bit more controversial. No? Controversial. Okay. Well, that's one way of looking at it. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't know. I think it. I think it's going to be a great night. Mm. Though, so I think Definitely. Really I think you've got. So, like out of the top bands in Leicester I don't mean to sound arrogant or big headed at all but I think those are yeah, those four bands that are there are, they're, we're, we're, you know, and we we're are the best of them four bands <laughs> yeah, clearly, clearly yeah. but like out of the, you know those four bands we're in the top there and I think you will yeah, get the top but, of Leicester's yeah, blues yeah, band I, I yeah. think so absolutely oh, great. and um, I think people it, blues is, is resurging and mm. I think people need to get on board personally mm. definitely yeah, I do. I think they really do. So, what, what about plans for the future? Well, we need to find a long-term drummer. That is massive. Um, once we've got, well, after this gig on the thirty-first, we're going to really do some work in terms of new material. Um, we need a new drummer, obviously, to do that. And then with the uh, intention of recording, intention of recording again um, to get the. F- the three songs done, and, and then uh, we should have the three songs done. Well, no, well, what we want is is <coughs> do another like eat, sort of small, the f- smaller one, EP. and then put it together with the EPs we've already got to make it a album. Right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I prefer uh, albums. Myself. Yeah. No. That's. I mean, it, it's you know, right at the minute we're giving out a seven song EP, which is just quite big for an EP. I think. For free. For free. Right. There will be free copies there on the night as well. Excellent. Free CDs. If you ask politely. Ask politely um, then only three copies. Should we do like four? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe right, even we'll, six. We'll, 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 we'll do more, and we'll charge a tenner a piece. Yeah. No, we'll, no, they're all free. Um, and you know, if you want one, just ask. That's how we. How we. You know. Don't yeah. ask me. Ask it. No. Yeah, okay. Don't so ask me, ask don't, me. Ask, don't ask. Don't ask. I don't like being asked. Oh, okay. it's like, people don't. It's just like people speaking to. Is that because you, you just like being moody on the bass then? What did I Stay. just say? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Okay. I ask anyone, especially him, yeah. especially not me. Right. right. Yeah, that would be fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we can expect an album from you shortly. Yeah. Um, next year, festival appearances and just basically more gig. What about getting out of Leicester? You yeah, about- that again, that's something uh, that is the priority. Yeah. But we can't do anything until we get this drummer situation right. sorted. So if there are any drummers out there, please, if you, if you like blues. Get involved together. We, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try you out. That's fine. Well, we're not fussy if you like red or green as well. Like, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> My preference is yellow, but like, yeah. Well, we we outed that. Yeah, we were cool. just out there, yeah, you're out there. Yeah, you're out there. It's just you like yellow, and that's that's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think we need to get the drummer in place first. Yeah, and then we can kick on from there because. Just to, yeah. Okay, so uh, what about Facebook page? If people want to message you about the gig on uh, on yeah, Halloween, it's uh, yeah, it's Facebook dot com forward slash the dead shoot. Um, you can message us, like us, listen. It's all free downloads as well. Yeah. If you like the music, should be worth noting. Uh, noting, we're making a new Twitter account soon. We are also making a new Twitter account. Uh, we lost the password to the. Yeah, we lost the password <laughs> to our old Twitter account, so we're having to kick off a new one. Um, so yeah, it's just have a check it out. It's all on there. All the songs are for free for download. Um, it's worth a listen for nothing, mm. really, to be honest. Absolutely brilliant. Okay then, chaps. Well, thank you very much. And we're going to play your last song now, Down and Out. That's right, yeah. Right, would you like to tell us a bit about that? Um, it's, no. a good one. it's a good one. Uh, no, I ain't got nothing. No, no. <laughs> speech, title speaks for itself, really. You're a bit down. Just about, oh, right, not about a down and out. No, no, it's it's it's, 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 it's like you're down, but then you're out as well. (laughs) (laughs) No, it's 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 about just you've just got nothing left. You've just been knocked to the floor too many times in life. Yeah, 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 that's pretty much it. Okay, it's also about Afghanistan. (laughs) It's not. It's not about that at all. It's definitely not. It's It's not. It's fine. We're not. not. (laughs) He likes to be cryptic in his song messages. It's about Afghanistan and like the Thatcher years. (laughs) Is it? (laughs) Ha ha ha!
<laughs> well, the three day working week, and that, you're always going on about that. I'm not he's from, he's from up north, he's from Sheffield, he's always my Sheffield, I'm from Newcastle. Same diff. Well, yeah. Don't yeah. worry about him. Can we cut this? So. <laughs> Oh, it sounds interesting. Anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing yeah, that. So no, thank you. Here we go. So thanks very much, chaps. Thank you for and, having us. And here's down and out by the dead shoot. And wasn't that just great by the dead shoot? And now here in the studio with us, we've got Kenneth J. Nash. Hello. Hello there. It <laughs> always sounds quite formal when you've got an initial in the middle, doesn't it, as well? Oh, yeah, well, we, we like to be formal. But there's a, reason for the, there's a reason for the J, isn't there, as well, I think? Yeah, there is, yeah. It's because, uh, um, well, you know, that is actually my real name. The J stands for John. Um, some people ask me if it stands for Jesus. It doesn't, even though I've got <laughs> <laughs> long hair and a beard. But there we are. But um, no, it's because there already is a Kenneth Nash, who's a famous uh, jazz percussionist for Herbie Hancock. There's a Kenny Nash, who's a country and western singer. And there's a Ken Nash, who's a cartoonist and a folk singer. So what else do you do? You know, it's kind of, I thought, well, I wanted to try and do something unique. So I um, needed something that was me. And so I thought, well, I'll use the J for my initial for my middle name. And how long have you been pra- uh, a musician for? Because I noticed on your oh, bio, on your I website, you've done a bit of DJing in the yeah. past as well. Well, I was a musician first and foremost. Um, I had my first guitar uh, when I was, I don't know, 10 or something like that. And then I uh, played in rock bands and punk bands and other bits and pieces. And then I became a DJ for a while. And then doing sort of bands in the background. But my main focus was DJing for quite some time. 
and then I gave up DJing about 10 years ago and picked a guitar up again. Yeah, I gave up DJing to do this, because you get to the point where you think, I'm getting a bit too old for this, don't you? <laughs> well, yeah, kind of lugging all the gear around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Although I was doing a lot of nightclub stuff, so I was yeah. only um, taking CDs in rather than uh, mobile DJ. But I did, did do uh, a lot of mobile DJing back in the day, yeah. 21sts and weddings and all that. Sure. So I guess, obviously, all this experience now means that you can draw upon that experience to use as material for your songs. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of time spent on the road, which... Um, uh, is never good for relationships and uh, provided uh, an awful lot of material which uh, certainly my first well now actually they're still in influencing them now the songs that are on the albums the, the latest album I've released is um, based on uh, like that last 10 years of being a DJ and things that went wrong with my personal life so yeah I was, so do you find it easier then to write from experiences that weren't too good then is, is that kind of where the inspiration sounds? Yeah. yeah because a lot of, some people write about joy and stuff like that, don't they? About yeah, happy times. So it's not really your thing, then? Not my thing, no. No, it's, <laughs> it's all misery and heartbreak. And uh, <laughs> Does that make it easier to write a song, do you think, though? Like? For me, it's the only way I can write. It has to be from a personal experience. I have to have actually experienced it, and, um, and then I write directly from the heart. So it's kind of, you know, um, poetry, which is almost stream of conscious style written, um, and it, it comes from the experience I had. Um, having said that, I have uh, on this album for the first time written a, a song which I think you may even be playing a little bit later called Slow Burn, which is uh, more about the positive aspects of being in love with somebody who stood by you. There uh, you go. <laughs> while you're going through all the bad times. So, yeah, yeah. We might ask you about the inspiration for that then. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So, it's obviously the lyrics that come first for you very much, so, is uh, it? A bit of both. Sometimes it's I've got a tune and uh, I'll sit and play the tune in a dark room for hours until it suddenly pops into my head what it makes me think about and then. Um, that sometimes is just enough inspiration. And you said before we started that you spent a lot of time on this album as well, have you? Yeah, it took a long time. I mean, some of the songs were written um, in the early part of last year. Some of those songs that are on there have not been recorded. They, I wrote them um, a couple of years back. I never found the right way to put them onto an album, so I never did it. This time I went for uh, some um, a lot of strings. It's got violins, violas, cellos, cellos double basses, mandolins and guitars. And oh, and harps as well. So I, mm. I felt with some of the songs they had, they needed that sort of ethereal quality. And what I was playing with before was like with a blues band or with uh, just a guitar by myself. And it just, I just couldn't take the song where I wanted to take it. So yeah, yeah, yeah you need all those other instruments to, to yeah, make it work. Yeah, yeah. We played one of your songs. That we, was it two weeks ago, Kevin? We played. We did indeed. I forget which one it was now. You asked me to play it. I think it's slow then. I think you're right. Yeah, 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 might want to be. And it is a, a very dark. I mean, it's a very, very laid back track, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. A lot of my stuff is. It's sort of music for insomniacs, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and we played that on the same night. I went to your Glastonbury audition as well. Didn't I? Oh yes, yes, yeah. How I did that go? How did that go? That was interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't heard anything back yet. I, I don't. I'm well, you sure. don't hear for a while. Actually, no, it takes away. No. I think they see so many acts, don't they? Yeah, I'm not sure for quite what, what they're looking for or not. But you know, it's. Um, but they have an acoustic stage and stuff like that. But they I guess do. They, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think um, uh, there, there's certainly there's, there's sort of a, a panel, if you like, rather than just being one person. Sure. But some of the people in the panel had an idea where they wanted me, and somebody else had an idea where they wanted me, and so I've just waiting here. You know. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't have a shortage of festivals. So you had to get uh, getting the 25 people on. Was that fairly straightforward? It was impossible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was I just quite did a quiet that. night, wasn't it? Well, it was a very quiet night. Yeah, yeah. I did uh, the weekend before. I just supported Mark Geary on his UK tour. Uh, it was two sellout nights for that. The weekend after, I was doing my own gig, which is uh, I do a travelling show of uh, troubadours and poets and bards and all this sort of thing. We travel around all over the country. Um, and, and that was a sellout show. So this was sort of in between the two. And I was thinking, well, <laughs> how am I going to get all these people who bought tickets for these things to now come to something in Leicester yeah. where I'm only going to be doing maybe 20 minutes or so? So, um, but I explained that from the start. I said to my, you know, I don't audition for things. That's not how I work. Uh, usually, if a festival wants me, they'll book me or I'll approach them. That's kind of how I work things so for me it was uh yeah an interesting experience not one i'll probably uh, it's quite it. difficult mm. for some people like you say because they've got other gigs around it they're not mm. going to push that because they're only on stage for a limited amount of time well that's it? right yeah yeah well, i think they take that into account though they did there's yeah. a lot of bands and stuff like yeah. that um but being honest because it was on a tuesday night as well mm. wasn't it which it was, was obviously yeah. not ideal 
Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, uh, having played your song here, I really enjoyed that performance. Good. Cheers, thank, thank you. you. Okay, we're going to play Dignity. So tell us about this yeah. track. Dignity. Dignity is a, a song about uh, when you're in a relationship and everything breaks down, and uh, where you, if you're married or you get divorced and you lose, or you can lose your house and your car and all that stuff. But the one thing you shouldn't ever let go of is your dignity, and uh, this song is about that. <laughs> Dignity from Kenneth J. Nash from his uh, new album, and uh, female vocalist on there. Few of the there's a uh, few, yeah, yeah, performers. And you would just explain how you're recording it because you were saying that yeah, you sure. move um, around a bit. Um, I've got a recording studio at home, which um, where my label's based as well, Old Hotel Records, and I do a lot of recording there. And in the past, I've recorded everybody actually at home but um because some of the people that i wanted to record on this uh, are in so many projects and so busy it was a case of well i'll go to them so i packed the gear up and put it in the back of the car and drove up and down the a6 where um most of the musicians were somewhere between rushton and leicester just off the a6 some of them were like actually living on the a6 which is weird but yeah so six months up and down the a6 recording it, are people. these people you've known quite a long time for a few years yeah yeah a lot of them um 
You probably know a few of them yourself, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible, yes, yeah. it's possible. Yeah, there was uh, Kira and uh, Sean from and Khalil from the Paddywax. If you oh, yes, yeah, I yeah. know them, yeah. yeah, yeah. popular local band. Yeah, a chap called Alan Tang, who does play with me quite regularly, but he plays in a band called Echo Location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had them on, yeah. Yeah, and uh, all the other members are all um, Northamptonshire-based, actually, but yeah. And you always have a clear idea of what you want as well. For this one, I had a very clear idea, yeah. It was the album that I'd been promised myself that I was going to produce for two or three years, and I knew that it was going to be a lot of work, um, Previous to now, I've just done live recordings and just got everybody round and just pressed record and just recorded it and, you know, to capture that live feel. Um, but I knew with this one I needed to do a bit more production on it and that was going to take the time. So, uh, yeah, six months to record it, six months to master it. Is, is, and then uh, even then, after after a year, uh, I left it. Uh, it's been recorded for over a year now and finished, but I wanted to hold on to it and just make sure I was happy with it. And so here we are a year later. Yeah, I, it, 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 we've <laughs> asked this question of a few people, Kevin, but it's yeah. again to that point where you think you're happy with it and I can't do any more with it. I've got to let it go. I, I had to walk away from it for, for, <laughs> for about three months. I just couldn't listen to it. That was it. I'm done with it. And I just couldn't listen because I think I'd overdone it. Every every night and every day I was listening to this album just trying to t- do the final tweaks on the master yeah. and, yeah, got too much. But, um... Listening back to it now, I'm, I'm really proud of it. I think it's the best thing I've done. Yeah, because some of the bands say that they try and get an outside producer to say, yeah, that's that's done. Is there anybody else that you kind of refer to and say, what do you think? That yeah, I mean, uh, I, I've i sort of, I have used producers in the past, but I have got a very, very, very clear idea about what I want. And this is the problem that you, if you bring any, any outside influences in, they've also got a very clear idea and that you're going to have some sort of clash. Um, I mean, the only person I would trust with anything is uh, Jay, my guitarist, who... Uh, we share a lot of the same influences. We've been in bands together for uh, 10, 15 years or so. So uh, for him, it was kind of uh, good to bounce ideas off of him and uh, get his input on it. Who did you play it to first? Uh, my <laughs> mum. <laughs> you did? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that's fitting enough, isn't it? Yeah. Well, she's, there's a track on there about her, actually. So, yeah, yeah I played it to my mum first of all. And, did she uh, like it? She, she she enjoyed it, yeah. <laughs> I think there was, she, she was a couple of bits where she was like, hmm, yeah. What, what instrument is that? You know, uh, I liked it when it didn't have that instrument. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's yeah. like, I think with most <laughs> albums, though, you have to play them two or three times, three or four times to get to to hear them, don't you? I think well, I most, so. that's what uh, you yeah. by any album, you have to listen to it a few times. That's it. I hope so. And I, I hope it's one of those ones that. I mean, yeah, you're right. You, there's some albums that, that aren't that accessible the first time you listen to them. They grow and grow and grow, and then they become a classic, don't they? You know. Yeah. But also, I found that if if I listen to um, somebody and see them a lot live, and then they bring out a new CD, a lot of the time, like your mum by the sounds of it, I'll say, "Oh, I preferred some of those songs <laughs> when I heard them live." Which yeah. is a slightly different setup. Yeah, I think she's she's got used to hearing me. Um, um, just bringing a guitar around and playing the songs to her just yeah. in a room and obviously you get with a live feeling with one person and one guitar it's a different feeling but you know when you put it on an album and people are going to be accessing it from lots of different places mm-hmm. I wanted to try and do something more with the songs but saying all of that the next album I've been doing is I'm planning is going to be even more stripped back than this one so you're already planning the next album oh yeah oh, I mean. yeah yeah it's all written I've well, just got what about recording. showcasing this album have you got some dates lined up already yeah I've got quite a bit on actually I'm, I'm out most weekends um, somewhere around this area either in Leicestershire, Northamptonshire, Coventry, um, Warwickshire, all that sort of stuff. Um, in fact, just here, I have I'm some dates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this Sunday, I'm at Jules Yard in Market Harbour. Um, I'm doing a, we do this travelling show that I was talking about, Kenneth Chain, Ash and Friends, and so we've got uh, some poets and some uh, troubadours coming on, and that's for midday. Um, and then the following weekend, I'm supporting Rachel Reese on her UK tour. And then I'm back in Leicester um, at the Pie Bar on the 14th of November. Oh, that'd um, be good. That'll be a free gig then, I take it. No, I think Not it's long. tickets because it's, oh, right. um, it's supporting a Canadian lady, Angela Saini. Oh, OK. I think that's about how I pronounced that correctly. I'm not sure. <laughs> good uh, enough. Good <laughs> enough, I think. And then I'm back at the shed on the 27th of November. Yeah. So mm-hmm. keeping busy. So the, mm. the, the, the next album then, is that the kind of next year project then? Yeah, I mean, usually I would I, I, I work um, festivals from May through to September every year, um, and then come September, October time, I usually spend it recording, but uh, this year that's just not happened, it's just gone crazy, I've just had all these bookings come in, and majority of them are, in fact, all of them are actually paid now, so it's kind of like I can't really turn them down, you know. You go and do a lot of festivals, and you don't really get paid for that, so you kind of make your money in the wintertime. So, yeah, yeah so I'm going to be um, busy right up till Christmas with gigs um, every weekend, and then... 
I've got um, December and January, well, uh, Christmas period and beginning of January off, and hopefully I'll get enough time to get the album recorded then. And the album, people can buy the album, I guess you sell them at gigs and get, them, get them on your website. Oh, it's yeah, on yeah, iTunes yeah, too, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still very sort of uh, uh, cottage industry and in if someone wants a CD, if they come and find me, send me an email or come and find me on Facebook, I'll... Um, post it out, you know, as a set PayPal, and then I'll post them out the next day. And it's interesting actually posting up. Um, I very often post up on my Facebook page where they're going to, and they're going all over the country and then further afield, like into America and uh, Germany. And, uh, I Ireland. notice your price quotes on your, uh, I mean, dollars on your on my website on your website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think at all. Uh, yeah, American yeah. market. Yeah, it is because um, I've got uh, one of the biggest followings I've got is in California. So it just makes sense that on that website, which looking at the Google Analytics on it, is, gets a lot of American hits. So that's the reason why. Mm. Okay. So will you be touring over there at some point? Then, oh, do you I think? wish. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to a, a friend of mine who, um, you know, Mark Geary, actually, and we was talking about the possibility of playing in New York next year. And um, I've got some people that want me to come and play in Berlin as well. So I, I'm hoping next year to do um, a festival in Holland that want me um, some gigs in Berlin and then try and get to New York as well. That's mm, the plan. That's Dublin good. as well if I can do it, but we'll see. Will that see. be on your own or with...? Uh, most of the time, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously you've got to try and cover the cost, the airfare and etc. Well, sure. FF for one person is half the price of FF for two, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> it works. Or four or five or whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's cheaper. Okay, uh, we've got another song to play. Uh, this is Slow Burn. Yeah. It does what it says on the tin, I guess, does it? Uh, kind of. It's, it's a song that was written uh, uh, from the perspective of my partner who stood by me uh, and helped me through a lot of stuff in the last few years. As a consequence of... Uh, being a DJ and on the road for so many years, it, it, it put me into a very dark place, <laughs> which I'm probably you, you probably guess that. But this song is uh, a sort of a celebration of her standing by me throughout it all. And um, slow burn is kind of a, a philosophy that I, I came up with that the in, in with love, you are better off going for somebody that um, it's a slow burn relationship rather than a boom and bust relationship because they only have a breakdown, don't they? So sure, yeah. Here we go. Took the best 
each day that you gave You gave to my family How can I repay What is the fee And who knows when That time will be gone Cause now I have my life back I want it to go on Gave to me without any return. When I was on fire, well, you took the burns. You took the burns from me. You took the burns from me. You took the burns from me. You took the burns. You took the burns. took the bands from me and you took the bands from me you took the bands you took the bands uh, slow burn uh, Kev J Nash is uh, in the studio uh, just tell us a bit about the album because uh, details of that you know, yeah. people can get a hold of it and so on um, if you fancy getting a copy of the album um, you can even listen to it on Spotify you can download it from iTunes uh, it's uh, it can't come under Kenneth J Nash The Fall of Eden um, and if you wanted a CD copy I've got some nice ones made up at the minute and I'm posting them out um, come and find me uh, via my website which is kennethjnash.com uh, come onto my Facebook page and then uh, communicate with me or send me an email and uh, we'll sort something out and just remind us about gigs and that what's that coming up uh in leicestershire i've got loads of gigs all over the place but actually in leicestershire jules yard on sunday from midday uh on the 14th supporting angela saini or say saini at uh, the pie bar uh and then on the next time i'm back in leicestershire is on the 27th of november at the shed um, but anybody who's uh, heading Northamptonshire away, come to the website. There's loads of uh, Northampton gigs on there, or Warwickshire as well. And nice to hear your, your stuff on the radio. I think so you get more yeah. radio plays like that. As yeah, well. yeah. It's always good to hear your stuff on the radio. Uh, Kevin, anything last thing to say? We've got about forty-five seconds. Um, just quickly, it's been really good having you here, Kenneth. Well, thank you for having me. I really enjoyed it. Thanks. And if you if if you want to hear the podcast of today's show, uh, look at our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash local music show and the number one. I'll have a podcast of everything that was on today's show, as well as a video interview that I did with of the Dead Shoot earlier in. Today's and show. I think last week's program is going to go up because we're a bit behind, aren't we? Because you mm-hmm. went away on holiday and things. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, sport coming up uh, next here on uh, Hermitage FM uh, after seven. I'll be back on Friday with Alan Young uh, for the Leicester City program. Uh, Join us for that between uh, four and uh, six o'clock. So uh, from us, good night. <laughs>